In this demo, we're going to go over five quick steps on how to add data with Telegraph. First thing you're going to do is open a blank text file and save it with a .conf file extension. I'm going to save mine as a general telegraph.conf in my home folder. Next, I'm going to grab my output plugin from my InfluxDB Cloud UI, where I'm going to have to select the bucket that I want to send my data to. Um, but for this demo, I'm going to send my data to my empty demo bucket. And I've actually already stored my token as an environment variable that you can look in our docs on how to do that yourself so you don't have to, to store or display your token in your configuration file. And then you'll just copy your output plugin directly from the Cloud UI into your Telegraph config file. So now we're going to insert the input plugin um, which will be based off the data source you want to monitor in your, into your Telegraph configuration file. In this example, I'll be using the basic system plugin to collect my device's system stats. You can retrieve the full list of plugins and their configurations on Influx Data's docs page or the Telegraph GitHub repository. Depending on the input plugin, you will need to configure any fields required for properly connecting and reading um, the system that you're monitoring. Um, in this example here, we're just, we're just doing a basic system input plugin um, and requires no configuration since I'll just be reading uh, data off my, off my device, off my MacBook. So lastly, we're gonna run our Telegraph configuration file with the simple Telegraph dash con config command and, and the path name that um, my Telegraph configuration file is stored in. Once you see that running and you no know errors, you can go back into your cloud UI and go to the data explorer and select your bucket and measurement value and see the data up here um, from the, the Telegraph configuration you just configured. Now feel free to give it a try and please refer to any of our documentation or community channels for any other guidance you may need. Here's an overview of how you can use Influx Data's documentation to help you configure Telegraph. Starting under Write Data, Use Telegraph, you can go to Manually Configure Telegraph. Creating your Telegraph dot conf configuration file is where you would start. Whether or not you use the default configuration file or your own generated blank configuration file that we showed in the demo. Um, the first thing you would do would manually add Telegraph input plugins. Um, so you can see the full list of input plugins on our documentation page. You can filter out by input, output, cloud, networking, web, web monitoring. Um, but for this example, we're gonna look at IoT. So you could click on your IoT. For example, if you wanted to monitor um, your MQTT IoT devices, um, you could click into MQ, the MQTT consumer plugin, view on our, view the configuration in the Telegraph GitHub and copy and paste the configuration file into your Telegraph configuration document that you have. This plugin requires some configuration, the server that you will be reading from and the topics that you are subscribing to. So, and next we would look at the output plugin as well. So your output plugin, um, all the information would be here. You would need to determine the URL that you want to be sending your data to. Um, so whether or not it's your AWS, GCP, cloud instance, or your OSS URL that you would use. Um, we'll have an example at the bottom in a bit. The tokens, you can click in the documentations view tokens on how to create a token through the CLI or view it in your UI. But we also have explaining how to export your token as an environment variable. So you don't have to display or store your token in your configuration file. And so we have uh, steps on how to do that on Mac or Linux, as well as Windows using PowerShell or um, CFD. 
So here we have an example v2 influx db v2 configuration file. Right now, it, the URL is set to um, an AWS cloud URL. You would determine your organization, your example bucket, and your token. Um, in the docs, it's actually pretty easy to toggle back between cloud and OSS. So if I wanted to send my data to my v2 OSS, I would just click that, and it would populate with the v2 local host. And lastly, start running the tele telegraph configuration file using the simple command telegraph-config and then the path name to your telegraph configuration file. And that's how you can use the docs to help you configure telegraph.